back. And what I'm doing here today is I'm cleaning up this wood stove. So what I've done is I've done a couple of things. You saw me the other day, I cleaned the chimney. Just look up there at the top. You see that little uh, link for the cleaning of the chimney. So what I've done since I came back down in here, I cleaned out the ashes and I cleaned up those tubes and I put up, uh, instead of ceramic fire bricks, I'm trying something different here because those uh, wafers are so expensive. I'm just putting fire brick up in here. I know some other people have tried just fire brick, so I, I fit them in there tight and I cut, see the darker ones here, the one there and the one back there. I just cut them on a tile saw. <laughs> Those are just your standard fire brick, okay? Same kinds you would put around the furnace wall and on the floor. So we're gonna try that and see if that works as well as the ceramic. And the other thing I did was I sanded the stove. And then I put some rust converter on it because the top was a little rusty. And I got the glass clean. And I taped both sides of it with masking tape. I've taped off the platform and the, the back wall around it and I'm gonna spray paint the stove. And I'm gonna paint it with uh, Rust-Oleum flat black stove paint. Okay, so I just put a gasket on this door and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so basically you clean up the trough where the gasket goes, clean out all uh, parts of the old gasket. And then what you do is you put some gasket adhesive, you know, you apply that in there with a gloved finger in that little groove all the way around there. Do that, to, you know, let it dry maybe 10 minutes in between and put a couple of coats on there. All right, now what you do is you take your gasket and I just started it down there on that side and just sit it in and it's not gonna hold it that well. It'll hold it enough just to kind of very carefully hold it into place. I just have a piece of newspaper over here with a hole for the latch to go through, okay? And then what you do is very carefully, you just close the door on that and don't, don't knock it down too tight, just put some tension on it. And basically what that'll do is the, that glue will harden and hold the gasket into the door. Okay, it's been about eight hours since I put that gasket in there. I'm gonna open it up. And by now, see the glue's got it all cinched into place. And the reason you put a piece of paper here is so that any glue that squeezes out around the gasket doesn't end up on the face of the stove. We'll just take that little piece of paper off there. Okay. Like so. Okay. We'll take our take the tape off the glass. Alright. And put this in here like that. And take the tape off the other side of the glass. I cleaned this glass uh, before I painted the stove. I cleaned it with Easy Off. And that's like, you know, it's great for ovenware. Easy Off works really good. You know, spray it on, leave it overnight. And I actually had the door off. And I took it outside and I sprayed it off with the hose and uh, I applied it again. And 
and I cleaned it off and the glass is like brand new. Now let's take one final look at that. I got the stove all cleaned up and painted. New gasket in the door, the glass cleaned up. Cleaned the chimney and I cleaned up these fire tubes here, the reburn tubes. And I'm trying something new here. I'm trying fire brick up here instead of the ceramic baffle. The ceramic baffle is probably $150 to replace. There's two of them that fit in here like that. And fire brick are about $4 a piece. And it should have the same effect. Uh, I've seen a couple other people that have done this and put the fire bricks in there and it seems to work just fine. And if you break one, it's you know a matter of four or five dollars instead of you know you break one of the ceramic wafers, you're into hundreds. So I'm gonna give that a try. And that's how that's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.